There are a few different systems to consider in composting. One is what's called a, sort of a static pile, which means it's not moved and it's minimally managed. It takes a little bit longer to make a, a finished product, but it's still uh, a great system for on-farm low management. Another system is an aerated pile, which means that we force air into the compost pile with a fan or a blower in order to speed up the process and make a more uniform product. Another system is a mechanically turned pile, where the pile is turned with a tractor or a loader in order to fluff it up, uh, mix, the, mix the raw materials and make uh, a nice mixed compost. Any of those systems will work well on a farm. It really depends on how much time you want to spend managing and the resources that you have available. A very simple system can be made with, with plywood, a plywood bin, an aerated system works well for that. Another system can be treated lumber, a three bin system built in place, and as well as eco blocks or poured concrete walls on a concrete slab. All of those systems work very well, and again, it depends on how much you have to spend and um, the intensity of management. If you don't have the money for a bin like this, uh, just remember that you can do something like free uh, pallets that you can just stack, uh, turn up on end, wire together, create some depth to a pile, and then use a tarp. That'll get you on bare ground, and that'll get you quite a ways with composting. Most of this wood is treated wood. Now, some people are concerned about treated wood. They might want to use just plain wood, but untreated wood is going to have to be replaced pretty regularly. So this is, this is treated wood. They're two by six boards. They're about four feet to five feet high, uh, and they're eight feet deep, eight feet wide. They have big six by six beams that go in about two or three feet into the ground, and they're not gonna budge. There's some against the back wall to give it support. And then on the sides, we have these uh, two by two trims where the, the free two by six boards will slip into these as we build the pile. The floor is made out of five eighths minus compacted gravel. Underneath that is some uh, geotextile fabric to keep the gravel from disappearing into the soil. But then there's the gravel, and the ingenious part, I think, is this, uh, is this uh, piece of concrete slip that I'm standing on. It's about foot wide. It comes out about uh, a foot or two in front of the bin, and then it, it doesn't go all the way to the back wall. The purpose of this concrete slip is so that the tractor shovel will hit that and not go down and take up the gravel. Uh, just take up the, the compost when you're finished. We have three bins, and the idea is so that we have one bin that's been completely filled and it's had plenty of time to process and I've been able to leave it alone for quite a while. We have another bin that is been being filled and is now filled, and uh, this is the one I'm now putting a fresh manure into. The Snohomish Conservation District has cost share funds available for some landowners to help design and install compost bins on the farm. Please contact us if you would like more information about our cost share program or if you would like a visit from one of our farm planners.